guys thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on my favorite glowy makeup products for a quick soft glam beat so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so all of the makeup that i'm going to talk about i actually used to achieve this look i did do little demos of me applying most of the look that i have on now and i'll just do the slide screen where you know it just kind of eases in and shows you all the application now the lighting is a little bit different in those clips because I don't have the natural lighting in this video I have the studio lights plus I have the lights coming from the window so just in case you're wondering why is the lighting different that's why so this is pretty much my soft go-to glam look and this is really a quick makeup look so anyway let's just go ahead and get started with the first makeup product all right so the first product that I like to use is by unsun and this is a face sunscreen it is is cruelty free and it does not give you flashback but I really have been enjoying this and I think that this particular sun protection of SPF 30 is good because my foundation also has an SPF in it as well so if you haven't tried this sunscreen out you definitely got to try it especially if you are a deeper skin tone and you're kind of running into issues with flashback you might want to check this one out and for my foundation, this is the Givenchy Tint Couture City Balm. Now, while this is not a glowy or dewy foundation, it is a natural foundation and it's very thin and lightweight. And I've talked previously about other foundations where if they are of thinner consistency that in my opinion, I think they're better suited for mature skin. So this one works well on my skin type. It plays very well with other products, meaning I can layer a cream, I can spray my face, put on a powder, you know, do all kinds of things and it's not going to disturb the foundation. I did not set this foundation and that's another thing that I like about it. So if you are one that likes to avoid powders, um, I would definitely suggest this one. But it does protect you from the blue light, which is emitted from your digital screens. It protects you against pollution as well as UV rays so you do get some goodies with this foundation and it has a light coverage but I do find that it can be buildable if you apply it and then kind of let it sit for a second or two and then go in with another layer but with that being said I think that it's absolutely beautiful on the skin and if you haven't tried this I would definitely say to check it out all right so next I have a concealer and this is the concealer by Almay and this is their skin protect comfort concealer now this is it says that it's medium to full coverage um, but I found that it was medium coverage because you could still see the dark areas under my eye this particular concealer is very luminous and I think that that's really important if you have any type of fine lines that you are trying to conceal it goes on very easily on the skin it is very soft and buttery and you may notice that I didn't go with the typical bright highlight under my eyes because when I'm out in public you know in the daytime I don't want to go with that super bright highlight that is pretty popular here on YouTube I try to stick with a shade that is a little bit just a little bit um, lighter than my skin tone either way this one's really pretty very luminous very hydrating so if you have dry under eyes I would really recommend this uh, but on the flip side I did have to set it because of how luminous it is but this is just a really great concealer all right so this is a new one to the bunch and this is by Terry and this is their hyaluronic tinted hydro powder and I like this because it has hyaluronic acid in it and I use this particular powder to set my concealer and I only used a little and I just went in with a damp sponge the same sponge that I use for touching up my foundation and I applied it in that manner and I just applied a little bit so the longevity of this is really good and I would recommend as soon as you apply your concealer that you go ahead and set it with a powder it doesn't necessarily have 
have to be this powder but if you have another powder that has some type of ingredient in it that's going to help you maintain or achieve hydration under your eyes I would definitely recommend using it if not this is a really nice one to try all right and for my bronzer I'm using another by Terry product and this is their compact dual powder I have this in mocha fritz and as you can see it looks really light i went in with a light hand with this particular bronzer but i'm not really sure if you can tell on the close-up but it does have a radiant type of finish and that's because of this inner part right here it has um, it's not really metallic but it's probably a metal it's crossed between a metallic and a matte but it really looks pretty because it provides a nice sheen to the skin you would really have to see it in person sometimes a lot of times lights can be deceiving but when you're actually in person or let's say um, over dinner and you, you're over you know how in the restaurants it's real nice and romantic it looks really pretty in those type of settings but you can build this up or you can just kind of add a light hand which is what I use now also I need to tell you it does have a lot of kick up that's even with using a very light brush and a light hand so if that's something that bothers you you might want to you know kind of steer away from this but this is by far my favorite bronzer for achieving that nice glowy type of look and this next one is a super OD but goodie and this is the Stila the Heavens Rue highlighter and this highlighter is very soft it kind of feels like putty and the way I like using it is with a damp sponge and I'll just apply it right here right here and on my nose and that's how I like to apply it it's really quick and simple and I like the way that it looks and this is another product that plays really well with others you can use it dry you can use it you know damp like I did it's just really pretty and it is super old but it's like hands down when I'm going for that soft glam type of beat this is the one that I like to use all right so as you can see I'm doing a quick eyeshadow look and if you're going for a soft glam you don't even have to in my opinion I don't think that you have to do shadow you could just do eyelashes and a winged eyeliner or you could do no eyelashes and just mascara it's just up to you but I like this palette because it's a quick easy go-to with just neutrals that's it and whenever I'm trying to get a soft glam I want everything to be minimum except for the lashes of course you know I have to do the most on the lashes I love lashes which all of you all know now with all that being said this particular palette is a very good palette and I'm thinking that their formulas may be different because I recently did a video on the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette which if you haven't seen it I'll link it up above so you can check it out and to me the formula is just different but this is a palette that when I bought it I said that I was just going to keep it in my little makeup areas just to be able to do some quick looks hurry up and get out the door because you can really get some nice simple looks with just a basic neutral palette plus for me when I'm going out in the daytime I don't I don't gravitate towards the more dramatic looks I think they're beautiful but in my opinion I feel as though those type of looks date me a little bit in my opinion for me what looks best on me is just a softer look with a dramatic lash and I know you're like girl what are you talking about simple and soft with those big lashes on but you know the lashes those are optional you know when you're doing your look you don't have to do the lashes but outside of that I just like to keep it really simple and then throw on a big red lip you know like what I have on now but either way this is the palette that I used and this one this palette is a good palette all right so to set everything I use the Milani Make dewy setting spray so this particular setting spray has some really good hold it is going to leave you very dewy very radiant looking but you're not gonna feel like that with this spray some setting sprays you can feel a little bit um, I'll just say oily or greasy this one is not and it's going to hold whatever you applied on your face in place and it's perfect for a glowy type of look and the last thing that I have on my face is the beauty blender redo I've 
talked about this so many times. You only need a little bit. Something happened to my clip with this, me applying this. Typically you wanna use this one with a matte foundation. That is how they recommend it. But with this one, as I've stated so many times before in other videos, you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. And if you're really big into skincare, you can also use this just as a middle of the day refresher because it does have a lot of ingredients in it that are actually good for the skin. So if you're a type of person that wears makeup every day, all day, like every day of the week, you work 12 hours, 14 hours. I know some ladies that work that long, this one would be a good one to have on standby, especially if you have dry skin. I love it to death. And initially when I bought it, I was a little bit worried, but no, you just have to know how to use it. And then the last thing that I have, and you probably already know because I have sparkles everywhere, is this Fenty Body Lava. And if I'm going to wear a tank like this, I'll just put it right here and put it right here. <laughs> so when my husband was looking at me, he's like, oh, so nice and glowy and pretty. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, this is lovely. You know, some people don't like the sparkles and all that. Um, some say it's too greasy or sticky. I think that's subjective, but for me, these type of products have got to be on standby because they just, they look really pretty. And you're gonna get a reaction from whomever sees you. They're gonna say something <laughs> about how glowy and sparkly you are. So that's pretty much it. Those are my favorite glowy products for a quick soft glam look. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. If you have, how did they work for you? If you plan on trying anything, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches.